In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the half tone effect inside of Adobe Photoshop. So let's get right into it. So once you've got your image imported into Photoshop, we need to go ahead and reduce the saturation of this image. So select on the background layer, and then we'll go up to adjustments, find the hue slash saturation tab, and we'll just pull the saturation all the way down to negative 100, and this will completely remove all of the color. Now we'll go into brightness slash contrast and we'll pull the brightness and the contrast up just a little bit. From here, we can go up into the filter tab on the top bar. We'll go into pixelate and we'll choose color halftone from the sub menu. Now there should be five boxes with five different numbers. You want the top number to be five and then you want all of the other boxes to be set to 45. So once all of those are set to 45, press OK and the halftone effect is now complete, but we're going to take this to the next level, we're going to add a very subtle gradient to this image. So go down to the very bottom right of Photoshop and press the circle button. And then from here, we're going to create a brand new gradient adjustment layer. So from here, we can press the gradient box and this will load the gradient editor. And now from here, we can choose two of our favorite colors. So I'm going to select pink and blue because I feel like this is a really nice contrast. We can press OK on this sub menu. We'll press OK on the gradient fill. We'll pull the gradient fill up to the very top and then we'll change the blending mode from normal to screen. Now, if we pull the opacity down to around 25, 26%, and there you go. That is how you generate half tone color effects inside of Adobe Photoshop. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the previous video if you want to see more. See you on the next video.